Hi, welcome. Here's your Saxon lesson 88 for today. Um, so you will need the activity sheet 88 um, before we get started. Make sure you have that out. Um, the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to be practicing how to alphabetize words. That means putting words in ABC order. So we will be putting our words in ABC order first. That's the first thing we're going to do today. So looking at the words we have in front of us, um, the very first thing we do is we need to underline the uh, guide letter. So um, we have the word okra, the O, um, I can, but just by looking down, I see that we have onion as well, and those both start with an O. So the guide letter in those words will not be the O. The guide letter in okra will be the K, so you're going to underline the K. And the guide letter in onions will be the N, underline the N. Um, beans, let me see, do I have anything else that starts with a B? I do not. So the B in beans will be the guide letter, underline the B. Um, for peppers, that's the only P word I have, so we're going to underline the P in peppers. In corn, the C is, um, that's the only C word. In squash, the only S word. And lettuce, that's the only L word. So I went ahead and I underlined the guide letters in all of my words. Now what I'm going to do is, this is going to be a little different. You see the numbers on the bottom? You're going to write the numbers on the lines in the order that they belong in. So the very first word would be corn, right? It would be, uh, or would it be, I'm sorry, it would be beans because B comes before C, A, B, C. So beans would be the very first word. So instead of writing the word beans first, we're going to write one next to number B, next to the word beans. So I'm going to write the number one next to beans, and then I'm going to cross out the one on the bottom like this, okay? Just like that. And then the second word would be what? A, B, C. So what's the second word? Corn. So I'm going to write two next to corn, and then I'm going to cross out the two. And then you're going to do that so on and so forth until you get to number seven. So I want you to pause the video now and finish doing this on your own, and then we'll review what you've done. Pause the video now. Okay, now that you've had a chance to do that, it looks like this. The first word was beans. The second is corn. The third is lettuce. The fourth is okra because the K comes before the N. And then we have onions because N comes after K. And then we have peppers. Six is peppers and seven is squash. So they should be in this order. If you need some time to write this down, you can pause the video now. Okay, awesome. You guys are really good at a, um, putting words in ABC order. The next thing we were supposed to be doing is bingo, but we are not together, and it's going to be really hard to play bingo when you're not with me. But we're going to try anyway. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what to cover or what to cross out, and you're going to cross it out, okay? All right, so we're on this page now. I'm going to call it what you need to cross out, and you're going to cross them out. I'll go slowly. The very first one, let's see. Cover the spelling for the medial sound, the medial sound in the word boat. Boat. The next one, cover the sight word country. Country. The next one, cover the sight word two. Like the number two, but in words. Cover the sight word two. Next, cover the sight word once, once, like once upon a time, once. Next, cover the final stable syllable in the word fraction, fraction. What's the final stable syllable in fraction? Next, cover the spelling for the final sound in the word stitch. Stitch. Next, cover the initial sound in the word chip. The initial sound, ch, ch, chip. Next, cover the spelling for the final sound in the word badge. Badge. Next, cover the sight word whose. Whose. Next, cover the sight word young, young. 
All right, and that's it. I hope someone scored a bingo. All right, let's move on and um, flip the paper over where it says review words. We're going to start there on number one. Next to number one, I want you guys to write the word meter. Meter. That's M-E-T-E-R. Meter. Good job. Next to number two, write the word action. Action. That's A-C-T-I-O-N. Action. Next to number three, write the word illness. Illness. That's I-L-L-N-E-S-S. -S. Excellent. Illness. All right, so, so far your paper should look like this. If you need some time to write this down, you can pause the video now. Okay, moving on. Number four, write the word island. I'm stuck on an island. I-S-L-A-N-D, island. All right, next to number five, write the word listen. Listen. L-I-S-T-E-N, excellent. Next to number six, write the word once. Once. That's O-N-C-E. Excellent. Your paper should look like this. If you need some time to write this down, you can pause the video now. Okay. I'm going to say some words, and I want you to echo these words after me. Echo means repeat after me. Fault, haunt, cause. What sound do we hear in all of these words? Ah, very good. We hear the ah sound. Look at these words and see what is making that sound. Let's look. We have fault, haunt, cause. What is making that ah sound? Sorry, there we go. Very good. A and U. A and U is a diagraph. A and U is a diagraph. We can tell, uh, I'm sorry, a, a diagraph is two letters that come together to make one sound. How do we code diagraphs? We underline them. Very good. So in fault, I'm going to underline diagraph A U. Haunt, underline diagraph A U. Cause, underline diagraph A U. All right, let's look at the, these words and see if they need any other coding. The word fault does not need any other coding. The word haunt does not need any other coding because these are just consonants. But the word cause, the C, k, 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 makes a K sound, so we need to add a back to it. The cause, the S, makes a Z sound, so we need to cross that out because it's voiced. And the E is silent, so we cross that out as well. So cause should look like this, the back on the C, cross out the S because it's voiced, or put a line through the S because it's voiced, and cross out the E because it's silent. So the word is cause, it looks like that. All right, um, let's see, let's keep going. All right, so we have a new um, letter card today. So every time we see this card, we're going to say diagraph A-U, say it. Diagraph A-U. Excellent. All right. Um, and we have a new picture card. I'm going to give you a riddle to try to guess the picture card. This is something you find near a sink. You might see one outside on a pipe at the side of a building. It usually has knobs to turn water on and off. What do you think this is? Faucet. The keyword is faucet, and the sound we've learned is off. So whenever we see this card, we're going to say faucet off. Very good. Faucet off. All right. Um, so let's talk about something real fast. Diagraph AU is sometimes hard to spell because it makes a sound that is very similar to short O, which is off, right? Therefore, we have a chart in our student spelling dictionary and reference booklet that lists some of these words. So it tells us the difference between the A-U and the A-O with a brief. 
Let's practice writing this word, um, this new sound that we wrote down. So next to number seven, let's write diagraph AU on our papers. Diagraph AU. Next to number eight, nine, and ten, we're going to practice writing some words that have diagraph AU. So next to number eight, we're going to write the word fraud. Is it F? Er? Is it R? A that we just learned is AU and D is a D. So F. R A U D. Number nine, hall. H A U L. Hall. And then we have launder. L L A A U N N D D and then R E R. So that's L A U N D E R. Launder. So your paper should look like this. All right, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and read these words together. Today, you do not have to write any sentences for these words. We're just going to read them, okay? All right, and you have to write them one time next to each word. Let's read together. Early, learn, guess, animal, answer, finally, usually, strange. Excellent job. Now on the back, on the worksheet and homework, you're going to do that on your own, okay? You're going to code these words, read the passage, answer the questions. You're going to do that on the front and the back. Today's lesson was um, quite fast. There wasn't anything too hard that we learned today, okay? We did not go over our letter cards, picture cards, or sight word cards. So let's go ahead and do that now, actually. I was supposed to do that in the beginning and I totally forgot. So let's do that now, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go through, show you the letter cards and you're going to say them. I'm gonna go as slow as I can possibly go. Diagraph, C, K. I'll say them with you. Diagraph, T, H. Diagraph, S, H. Diagraph, C, H. Combination, E, R. Combination, I, R. Combination, U, R. Combination, Q, U. Combination, A, R. Combination, O, R. Combination, W, H. A, consonant, E. E, consonant, E. I, consonant, E. O consonant E, U consonant E, diagraph O O, diagraph E E, final stable syllable bull, final stable syllable pull, final stable syllable dull, final stable syllable gull, final stable syllable tull, final stable syllable full, vowel Y, diagraph N G. Diagraph P H. Diagraph E A. Di ghost letter diagraph K N. Ghost letter diagraph G N. Ghost letter diagraph W R. Diphthong diagraph O U. Diphthong diagraph O W. Diagraph A I. Diagraph A Y. C. Diphthong O I. Diphthong O Y. Triagraph I G H. Triagraph T C H. G. Triagraph D G E. Final stable syllable shun. Diagraph O A. And the one we just learned. Diagraph A U. Excellent job. All right. And we're just going to do our sight words um, I, instead of the picture cards as well. All right. So real quickly, let's do the sight words and then I'll let you go. All right. You ready? You read. Excellent. Okay, so that's it, guys. Go ahead and get started on your worksheet and homework page, code and answer the questions, and turn those in to me in the Google Classroom. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be online all day. I will see you later. Bye, guys. Love you all.